Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will discuss additional general for mutually inclusive and exclusive events. First of all, let us discuss mutually inclusive events. Now let us consider a sample space of tossing three coins. Now here you can see sample space of tossing three coins. Now here X represents head and T represents tail. Now whenever we toss three coins, these are all possible outcomes that is getting all heads then getting head on first coin, getting head on second coin and getting a tail on third coin. So we have all these possible outcomes. So sample space S is a set containing all these elements. Now here Total number of outcomes is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, total number of outcomes is equal to 8. Now, let us consider two events. Event A is getting exactly one head and event B is getting at least two tails. Now let us write elements for event A. Now event A is getting exactly one head. Now here, these are the outcomes favorable to event A. That is, here we are getting exactly one head. So event A is a set containing elements T, T, H, T, H, T and H, T, T. So number of favorable outcomes for event A is equal to 3. Similarly, we can write elements of event B. Now event B is getting at least two tails. Now here you can see these are the outcomes. Favorable to event B. So event B is a set containing elements T, T, H, T, H, T, H, T, T and T, T, T. So number of favorable outcomes for event B is equal to 4. Now let us see outcomes that are favorable to both the events A and B. Now there are three outcomes that are common to both the events. So A intersection B that is event A intersection B is a set containing elements T T H T H T and H T T. Now number of favorable outcomes for event A intersection B is equal to 3. So when the two events have some common outcomes, then they are called mutually inclusive events. Now see in the Venn diagram, there is a common area in both the events. So these events are inclusive events. They are also called not mutually exclusive events. So here A and 
is B are mutually inclusive events. Now we have to find probability of event A or B which is written as P of A or B or we can write it as P of A union B. Now to find probability P of event A or B we make use of addition rule That is probability P of event A union B is equal to probability of event A plus probability of event B minus probability of event A intersection B or we can write it as probability P of event A or B is equal to probability of event A plus probability of event B minus probability of event A and B. Now let us find probability of event A or B for above example. Now here total number of outcomes is equal to 8 and number of favorable outcomes for event A is equal to 3. So probability P of event A is equal to Number of favorable outcomes for event A that is 3 upon total number of outcomes that is 8. So probability of event A is 3 upon 8. Similarly, probability of event B is equal to 4 upon 8 which is equal to 1 upon 2. And probability of event A into section B is equal to 3 upon 8. Now we know that probability of event A union B is equal to probability of event A plus probability of event B minus probability of event A intersection B. So for above example, probability of event A union B will be equal to Probability of event A that is 3 upon 8 plus probability of event B that is 1 upon 2 minus probability of event A into section B that is 3 upon 8 and this is further equal to 1 upon 2. So probability of event A union B or probability of event A or B is equal to 1 upon 2. So using addition rule we have found probability of event A or B. Now let us discuss mutually exclusive events. Now mutually exclusive events are disjoint events that is the two events will have no common outcome. Now see this brain diagram. Here the two sets have no common area. So A intersection B is empty set. Now for mutually exclusive events probability of event A intersection B is equal to 0. Now addition rule for mutually exclusive events is given by probability P of event a or B is equal to probability of event A plus probability of event B. For example, in tossing of three coins, if we take event A 
as getting exactly 3 hertz then event A is a set containing single element H H H the number of variable outcomes for event A is equal to 1 so here probability of event A will be equal to 1 upon 8 and event B is getting at least 2 tails now here you can see these are the outcomes favorable to event B so event B is a set containing elements T, T, H T, H, T H, T, T and T, T, T so number of favorable outcomes for event P is equal to 4 so probability P of event B is equal to 4 upon 8 which is equal to 1 upon 2 now this is event A and this is event B and here you can see the two events have no common element so A intersection B is equal to empty set that is denoted by phi therefore probability of event A intersection B is equal to 0 so probability P of event A union B is equal to probability of event A plus probability of event B now probability of event A is 1 upon 8 and probability of event B is 1 upon 2 so probability of event A union B is equal to 1 upon 8 plus 1 upon 2 now taking LCM of denominators that is LCM of 8 and 2 is equal to 8 so in denominator we have 8 now in numerator we will have now here we know that 8 into 1 is 8 and 1 into 1 is 1 plus 2 into 4 is 8 and 4 into 1 is 4 so this is equal to 5 upon 8 so probability of event A union B is equal to 5 upon 8 so in this session we have discussed how to find probabilities of mutually inclusive and exclusive events using addition rule and this completes our session hope you all have enjoyed the session